My name's Reese, and you've probably wondered, why doesn't enhanced measurement automatically take care of events associated with YouTube video views like it's supposed to? Well, the reason why is because there's one small adjustment that needs to be made to the code that you use when embedding videos onto your website, and that's what we're going to walk through today. Before we get started, here's a quick overview of the process. First, we're going to make sure that you have the enhanced measurement for video events turned on in GA4. Then we're going to copy the embed code for a YouTube video, add it to a new page in WordPress, and then we'll test it out to make sure that all the events data is coming through correctly in the GA4 debug view. So let's get started. To make sure you have enhanced measurement for video events turned on, you'll want to go to the admin tab right here in the bottom left corner. And then you'll go to your data stream right here and you'll just choose the data stream that you have active and then go over here to enhanced measurement and click this settings icon. So all you need to see here is that the toggle for video engagement is turned on. So just make sure that that's checked and then you can save. So next, we're going to go to a YouTube video and just copy the embed code. So I'll click the share button right here and then we'll click embed, copy this code right here. And then we'll go to a new page right here in WordPress. And so I just have a custom HTML block opened up so we can just paste that embed code directly. And right now, as it stands, GA4 will not see any interactions with this video. And that's because there's one specific string of text that we need to add in order to make that happen. What this string of text does is activate YouTube's iframe API, which helps enhanced measurement automatically pick up information about the video title, the URL, and how much of it was watched. So what we'll do right here is right where it says source equals video URL, we're going to add a question mark and then enable JS API equals one. And it seems so simple, but this is just this one string of text that makes the difference between a video getting seen by GA4 and being totally invisible. So we'll click update right here to add that to the page. And then we're gonna open up the tag manager preview and debug console to make sure that we can debug this in GA4. So this part's not necessary to make sure that the video event is firing, but it does help this uh, does help us test this using the GA4 debug view. So we'll just open up the page right there. And so I'll click play and we should see we should see the events pop up in the tag manager debug window right here. So we can see this YouTube video event and also this video engagement event. And it also gives us some information about where the video comes from or where it's hosted on the name of the video and the URL. If we go to the debug view in Google Analytics, we should see that same information over here. So let's open up the debug view. And sure enough, there we go. There's the video start event right here. And if we scroll down, we see a lot of that same data that we just saw in the tag manager preview tool. So we have our uh, video percent, which is just zero because I haven't really watched any of it. Um, how long the video is in seconds and the video title right here. So there you have it. This is how to track YouTube video views with enhanced measurement in GA4. And if you found this video useful, I'd hugely appreciate a like and subscribe so that you can get more GA4 tips in the future. Thanks so much for watching.